This is one of the things right here that costs the most money. This pair of gloves costs almost 20 bucks, and I go through a pair about a month. These hands need protection. After all, they're an important part of this finely tuned racing machine. I have to cover up this hole on the top of my glove here. Friends say it's his attention to detail that made Butch Martin a winner racing motorcycles. Mm. But that was before he lost the use of his legs in an industrial accident. Well, I cried for the first week. And uh, then after that, I decided this was, uh, this is ridiculous. I need to get on with my life. Now he's racing a new set of wheels. My racing is, uh, you know, gives me a certain sense of normality again. I feel, I feel very normal when I'm, when I'm in my chair pushing. In this year's 500 mini marathon, Butch was first to cross the finish line. Of course, it was a thrill just to just to get just to be on the track, uh, whether able-bodied or in a wheelchair, you know, where there's so much speed being take, taking place. It, it just seemed it seemed out of place going 12 or 13 mile an hour in a, on a straight that people normally go over 200 mile an hour on. He didn't receive an award for that race because he failed to meet the application deadline. But that didn't slow him down. Now he's pushing for the Boston Marathon. But while we were videotaping, his chair broke. Son of a gun. That's the first time I've ever had anything like this happen. The break didn't give Butch a break in the action. Now he's shifting road time to his gym. If I'm lucky enough to live to 75, I'll be the oldest wheelchair participant you know, wh wherever I'm participating. You know, they always have an award for the oldest runner. Well, I'm going to be the oldest wheelchair person.